Today on our motorhome, we'll be installing the Pollock six pole round pin trailer wiring socket with exposed terminals with rubber boot for the vehicle end. Part number PK11608. In addition, we'll be using the Roadmaster bent electrical socket bracket, part number RM-9100-5, now to begin with, we're going to go ahead and do a quick test to make sure that the four flat that's already at the back of this motorhome is functioning properly. We'll take our end of our test light and put it to a ground. We'll go ahead then and touch the brown wire on the four flat. As you can see, we get a light showing that the running lights are working. For the left turn, we'll touch the yellow. For the right turn or passenger side, we'll touch the green wire. Now for the brake signal, we can touch either the green or the yellow wire and it should be a constant light or a constant beep. Now that we know that our four flat works, we're going to need to choose a location to mount our bracket. We'll mount our bracket by just using a couple self-tapping screws into the underside of the bumper here. Now that we've got our bracket mounted, you want to make sure that you take the rubber boot from the new six-way and slide it over the wiring. Now we're going to need to feed the wiring through the hole in the bracket. Now we can go ahead and strip back a little bit of the wiring and begin to make our connections. Now let's go ahead and begin our installation. Now for the way we're going to wire the new six-way, if you look on the back, there's a T which is for tail and running lights. This is where we'll be putting the brown wire from the four flat. You'll see a little G. This is where the white wire or ground wire will be going. A little L is for the yellow wire. That's the left turn and brake. And you'll see an R, which is for the right turn and brake, which will be the green wire that will be going here. The other location that's down around the bottom has an S, which is where if you had a brake control, that's where the blue wire would go. And then the center hole or center pin area is for a 12 volt power supply, which is an A or auxiliary port. We won't be using either the A or the S at this time. Now that we know which wire is gonna go to which location on the six way, let's go ahead and put them in. Again, we'll be putting the brown to the location marked with a T, the white to the location marked with a G, the yellow to the location marked with an L, and the green to the location marked with an R. Now that we have everything tightened down, We'll go ahead and slide the rubber boot back onto the back side of the plug. And then in this case, there was some wire loom already on the wiring on the motorhome. We'll go ahead and put that back on as well, and then use some electrical tape to secure everything. Next, we'll go ahead and push the six pole back into our new bracket, and we'll use the screw and the nut supplied with the kit. Go ahead and tighten everything down. Now that we've got everything installed, let's go ahead and test it one more time with our test light. We'll again put a ground for our test light. This time we'll touch the top center pin, which is for the tail lights. You can see that's working properly. And for the driver's side or left turn side, we'll touch the lower right hand side pin. For the passenger or right hand side, we'll touch the lower left hand side pin for the turn signals. So you can see they're both working. And now for the brakes, we can touch either of the two bottom pins and we should get a constant beep or a light, which we do. As so you can see, everything's working just fine on our new six way plug. And with that, that'll conclude our installation of the Pollock six pole round pin trailer wiring socket with exposed terminals with a rubber boot for the vehicle end, part number PK11608.